Hello all. Welcome back to Amrita's Blink. I am Amrita Kulkarni. Today we are going to look at time and distance. This is very important chapter in the context of clearing mathematical aptitude section, quantitative ability section of almost every competitive exam. It involves problems on distance, speed and time and trains. Time and distance first video practice problem on distance speed and time and train we'll see problem number first a train running at a speed of 120 km per hour crosses a pole in 9 seconds what is the length of the train 120 meters 180 meters 240 meters 300 meters and 310 meters it is given that the train crosses the pole in 9 seconds so if you if you visualize correctly when the engine of the train crosses a pole any any kind of a pole then it will move ahead the last compartment of the train crosses the pole then only you can say that the complete train have crossed a pole hence we can actually say that the length of the train is nothing but the distance traveled by the train to cross the pole now it is given that a train is running at a speed of 120 km per hour and it takes 9 seconds to cross a pole that means it is given that a train requires 9 seconds to cover the distance which is actually equal to length of the train with the speed of 120 km per hour. Now the speed is given in terms of km per hour. All the answer, option, answer options are there in meters and even the time is given in terms of seconds. So we need to convert the speed km per hour into meter per second. Now we know the formula distance is equal to speed into time. We need to calculate the distance covered by the train that means which is nothing but equal to length of the train. So speed into time, speed is 120 km per hour into 9 seconds. So either you can convert km per hour into seconds or you can convert seconds into km per hour. Here what I have done is I have converted seconds into kilometer per hour for the sake of calculation so 120 kilometer per hour into now 9 seconds can be converted to hour when divided by 3600 that is 60 into 60 so we have 120 into 9 upon 60 into 60 so we can cancel out this 60 and here we have 2 here it is 2 ones are 2 then we have 30 then we have this is 3 and this is 10 so we have 3 upon 10 kilometers now so the distance traveled by the train is 3 upon 10 kilometers which is now 3 kilometers is equal to 300 meter is the distance covered and hence it is equal to the length of the train is equal to 300 meters so conversion of unit is very important you all the units should be either in terms of meter per second meter seconds or all the units should be in terms of kilometer and hours Hence, answer option is D, that is 300 meters is the length of the train. We will move to problem number 2. Ramesh left his house and travelled at a speed of 80 km per hour for 2 hours 15 minutes. After that, the speed was reduced to 60 km per hour. Finally, he reached base camp which is 350 kilometers from his house. How much total time he had taken? 
फाइव आर्स फाइव मिनट्स फाइव आर्स फिफ्टी मिनट्स फाइव आर्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स फोर आर्स फिफ्टी मिनट्स एंड फोर आर्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम सो लेट सपोज दिस इज रमेश हाउस एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू रीच हियर विच इज अ कैम्प बट हाफ ऑफ द डिस्टेंस लेट से दिस इज पॉइंट पी सो रमेश लेफ्ट हिज हाउस एट अ स्पीड ऑफ सो फ्रॉम पॉइंट एच टू पी ही हैज ट्रेवल्ड एट अ स्पीड ऑफ एटी किलोमीटर पर आवर फॉर विच ही टूक टू आवर्स एंड फिफ्टीन मिनट्स After that, the speed was reduced to sixty kmph. So, from point P to camp, the speed was reduced to sixty kmph. Finally, he reached the base camp, which is three fifty kilometers for from his house. So, this total distance, that is from his house to camp, this total distance is given as three fifty kilometers. Now, so. how much total time he had taken so we need to calculate the total time required to travel from point h to the camp so distance traveled by ramesh with the speed of 80 km per hr is hp we'll calculate that distance now we know that distance is equal to speed into time speed is given in 80 km per hr and time is 2 hours 15 minutes now 2 hours 15 minutes we need to convert it into fraction 15 minutes is 1/4 part of an hour so we will take it as 80 into 2 1 by 4 that is a mixed fraction now 2 1 by 4 will convert it into regular fraction that is 4 to the 8 plus 1 that is 9 so 80 into 9 by 4 which is equal to 180 km so distance from point h to point p is 180 km now total distance is given from point h to the camp total distance is 350 km out of which from point h to p is 180 km hence we can calculate the distance from point p to camp is 350 minus 180 that is 170 km now this 170 km distance is traveled with the speed of 60 km per hr so we can calculate the time again with the same formula distance is equal to speed into time so time is equal to distance upon speed now this 170 km divided by 60 so 170 divided by 60 is equal to 2 hours 50 minutes now this calculation you can perform in two ways here what i have done is 170 upon 60 that is distance is equal to 170 km divided by speed which is 60 km into i have done multiplication of 60 because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so if i cancel out this 60 60 then i have 170 minutes and then this 170 minutes you can convert it it in the form of hours and minutes that is 2 hours and 50 minutes or else you can also directly convert this 170 upon 60 into mixed fraction as 2 into 50 upon 60 that is 2 hours and 50 minutes so either way you can do the regular calculation 170 upon 60 into 60 or you can convert 170 upon 60 in the form of 250 by 60 that is 2 hours and 50 minutes so the first part is covered in the in 2 hours 15 minutes and second part is covered by in time 2 hours 50 minutes so total time is equal to 2 hours 15 minutes plus 2 hours 50 minutes now 2 plus 2 that is 4 hours and minutes is 15 plus 50 that is 65 minutes now 65 minutes means 1 hour 5 minutes hence total time is equal to 5 hours and 5 minutes which is op answer option a 5 hours and 5 minutes 
so total time taken by ramesh to from his house to reach to the camp is 4 hours and 65 minutes this problem is slightly difficult because there is a conversion of uh, time kilometer minutes and even addition of uh, hours and minutes is there we'll move to problem number 3 two trains starts from a and b respectively and travel towards each other at a speed of 60 km per hour and 50 km per hour respectively by the time they meet the first train has traveled 100 km more than the second the distance between a and b is 500 km 630 km 660 km 900 km and 950 km two trains starts from point a and b respectively and travel towards each other at a speed of 60 km per hour and 50 km per hour respectively so let's suppose this is point a and this is point b so one train is traveling in this direction and another train is traveling in this direction this train is traveling with speed 60 km per hour train b is traveling with a speed of 50 km per hour by the time they traveled that they the first train have covered 60 km more than the second so let's suppose they meet at this point so that this distance is so let's suppose they meet at point p so now it is given that the first train has traveled 100 km more than the second so we can say that ap minus pb is equal to 100 let's say the train will meet after x hours we don't know that now by how much time they are meeting to each other by this time first train had travel 100 km more than the second train which we have already seen that is ap minus b pb is equal to 100 now we know that distance is equal to speed into time so in order to cover distance ap train a is taking a uh, train a is taking let's say x hours and it is traveling with the speed of 60 kilometers so distance ap is equal to 60x that is speed into time similarly distance pb is equal to 50x 50 is a speed and x is a time now it is given that ap minus pb is equal to 100 hence we can say that 60x minus 50x is equal to 100 so simply 10x is equal to 100 and x is equal to 10 hours so we can say that the at point p train a is reaching after 10 hours to point p and similarly train b is reaching at point p after 10 hours so the total distance between points a and b we will calculate now total distance between point a and b is equal to nothing but 60x plus 50x that of the video a motor bike runs at a speed of 90 km per hour what is the speed in meters per second again a very very simple problem 8 meter per second 21 by 9 meter per second 22 1 by 8 meter per second 25 meter per second and none of these speed is given in kilometers per hour and we just need to convert it into meter per second now it is given as 90 km per hour so simply we can convert this 90 to meters so 90 into 1000 per hour so divided by 3600 that is 
वन आर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स हैंस नाइन्टी इन टू वन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड यू कैन ऑल्सो डू इट बाय नाइन्टी इन टू सो बाई सिंप्लीफिकेशन यू विल गेट कैंसल आउट दिस वन जीरो दिस वन दिस वन जीरो ऑल्सो गेट्स कैंसल नाइन वन जो वन नाइन फोर जो थर्टी सिक्स फोर वन जो फोर दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो नाइन्टी इंटू वन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड विच इज आंसर ऑप्शन डी विल मूव टू लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द वीडियो अ रनर रंस टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स इन ट्वेंटी फोर सेकेंड्स वॉट इज हिट स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर आर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आर ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर पर आर एटीन किलोमीटर पर आर थर्टी किलोमीटर पर आर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर अ रनर इज कवरिंग अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स इन ट्वेंटी फोर सेकेंड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल कैलकुलेट हिज स्पीड बट दिस स्पीड नीड टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू किलोमीटर पर आर नाउ स्पीड इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम सो टू हंड्रेड अपॉन ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ दिस टू हंड्रेड अपॉन ट्वेंटी फोर वी विल है जस्ट परफॉर्म द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ टू हंड्रेड अपॉन ट्वेंटी फोर वी विल गेट द स्पीड इन मीटर पर सेकेंड बट वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू किलोमीटर पर आर थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड अपॉन वन थाउजेंड सो वी विल गेट कैंसलिंग आउट दीज टू जीरोज देन दिस जीरो ऑल्सो गेट्स कैंसिल सिक्स फोर जो थर्टी सिक्स फोर जो ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्स सिक्स जो थर्टी सिक्स फोर वन जो फोर फोर फाइव जो ट्वेंटी सो फाइव इंटू सिक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी किलोमीटर्स पर आर विच इज आर आंसर ऑप्शन डी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड फाइव प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस इन अपकमिंग वीडियोज विल सी फ्यू मोर प्रॉब्लम एंड न्यू कंसेप्ट स्टेट ट्यून विथ अमृता लिंक फॉर मोर कंटेंट थैंक यू Oh, oh, oh.